Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel again today. My name is Julia. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We love talking about fragrances and perfumes here on this channel. I am a new fragrance reviewer here on YouTube, so I would love to have you guys along. Today we are talking about summer fragrances and these are the most recent um, or the most often used fragrances that I've been just reaching for in the last while because it has gotten super hot here where I live. I live in Switzerland and we've had some really hot temperatures. I will list them all below. You can shop the perfumes if you want to pick any of these up. The first one I want to talk about is this one by Guerlain and this is Terracotta. I actually thought this was discontinued but I recently saw it in stores so I think this is something that they release always in the summertime so you can still get this. This is such a gorgeous perfect tropical, almost beachy type of fragrance that I love to wear. I'm actually wearing some of this today. This is just absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit sweet, but not too much. It's like a white tropical floral. The main notes in here are bergamot, coconut, and tiara flower, jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, musk, and vanilla. This is absolutely the most gorgeous summer scent. I did a whole video actually reviewing this. I will link that right now if you want to check it out. Honestly, if you were just to pick up one perfume from all the ones I recommended for the summertime, I would probably recommend this because it's beautiful. It's I get compliments when I wear this. This is a great um, daytime fragrance, but also evening summer fragrance. So this is by Mugler and this is Alien Eau Sublime. This is a great summertime version of Alien. So if you enjoy Mugler Alien, I personally don't reach for that fragrance a lot in the summertime just because I find it very heavy. It, I love that fragrance. Don't get me wrong in the winter and stuff. I love wearing that. It's a great date night perfume. And I actually talked about that in my date night fragrances that men love. If you haven't checked out that video, you can go and check that out as well. I will link it right now. I find it just a little bit too much for the summer. It's a little bit cloying. It's just a little bit too intense. I don't think it's daytime appropriate in the summer, especially in the heat. So this is a great summertime sort of more hot weather version of Alien that you can wear because this has a little bit more lighter notes. Like it still has that Alien base, but there's this slight citrus version to it. It's not a super citrusy perfume. I actually also recently filmed a video, my favorite citrus fragrances, which I will also um, link for you if you're interested. Pretty much all of those in there are great for the summer. I don't want to just regurgitate and put them all in here. But the reason I didn't put this fragrance in that one, in that video, because this is not a predominantly citrus fragrance. I feel like this is alien with just a hint of citrus. So the notes in the Alien Eau Sublime are lemon, orange, mandarin, galbanum, solar flowers, jasmine, cherry blossom, tiara flower, heliotrope, cashmere, woody vetiver, and white amber. This is just a little bit fresher. Let me just spray it just to jog my memory a bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit fresher. It's more uplifting. You still have that beautiful um, alien DNA, like you still have the vanilla, you have the amber and the jasmine, but you have those other notes like the citrus that just make it lighter. This is an eau de toilette. I feel like the longevity on this is very good. This one by Roberto Cavalli and it's called Paradiso Azzurro. The bottle just screams summer for me and it already hints at what's inside because this is a beautiful aquatic fragrance for women. And I really enjoy aquatics. I feel often the women's aquatic offerings aren't really aquatics because they don't have any water notes in them. They'll have citrus notes in it and they'll have like floral notes, but they won't actually have an aquatic water note. This definitely is an aquatic fragrance because this smells like water. It smells fresh and watery. Maybe just a little bit soapy, but not, not too much. It's not like aldehydic. Floral aromatic aquatic perfume. The notes in here are bergamot, lavender, jasmine, cypress, and cashmere. There is also a, a, a water note in here. So it's basically a marine floral aquatic with a little bit of citrus in. I definitely smell the greenery of the forest, like the cypressy kind of smell mixed 
with the water. But then there's the aromatic notes in here with the bergamot and the lavender. And then you have the watery notes, which is obviously synthetic, but it's really fresh. Like this is such a great fresh, also beachy type of scent. The longevity is actually is quite good on this. I get a good decent wear from it. I mean, yes, I have to reapply, but also the price point on this is really great because you can often find this again at discounters. What else do you need if you're on the beach or in a hot summer destination, you've already got the cool breeze coming in from the ocean and you've got the coconut trees in the back and the viscous flowers and all that. Well, you definitely need a tropical drink to sip on, am I right? So that's where this one comes in. This is by Bulgari from the Omnia range and this is the Omnia Paraiba. This this is the perfect passion fruit, exotic, um, fresh, pick me up type of scent. So this is like passion fruit all the way. It's super refreshing because passion fruit, um, if you've ever had it, has a slight sort of sour note. It's not a citrusy note, but it's like refreshing and zesty. I love this. It's very exotic. Um, it's supposed to be um, inspired by Brazilian jungle beaches and ocean. So it has bitter orange and maracuya, which is the passion fruit. And it has the passion fruit flower or passion flower with the Brazilian gardenia. And the base notes are vetiver and cocoa. The cocoa, I really can't smell at all. The vetiver gives it a little bit of the citrusy note. So that gives it the freshness, but the passion fruit itself is already zesty and fresh. And another one that I love for the summertime is this one by Hermès and this is Eau de Rhubarb Eclart. This is from their Eau de Cologne range. So um, that's the only downside is that this is a cologne. So it does not have the same longevity as a perfume would like an Eau de Parfum. So this is something that you do have to touch up, but this is so refreshing. This is a rhubarb perfume, perfect rhubarb scent. I just get so much rhubarb out um, out of this. The top note is rhubarb, the mid notes is red berries, and the base notes is white musk. It's super refreshing. And you guys know if you have tried rhubarb, like rhubarb pie or rhubarb crumble or something like that, it has a very sour note to it. I love that. So this is like red berries and rhubarb mixed together. And both of those things can be quite tart. It's so refreshing. Sometimes I liked something different. I like something zesty that's not just straight up lemon. This would be also great for layering. I also do that sometimes. I will layer this with other perfumes. All right, and the last fragrance that I wanna talk about is this one by Versace. And this is the Vers Versace Pour Femme. It's also sometimes known as the Versace Signature Pour Femme. I think this came out in 2007 and it has since been discontinued, but you can still find it online, which is why I'm mentioning it here. Pour Homme, they still release it. Like I've seen the Pour Homme in stores, but I haven't seen the Pour Femme in stores. I guess this one didn't do so well, but this is a really pretty light uh, floral that's based around lilac. So I actually think this is great for springtime, but I've actually been wearing this now in the summer as well. Just when I want something a little bit different than sort of the coconutty and vanilla and stuff like that. And like the, the sort of more beachy tropical scents, this one is more light. This is a beautiful, um, like I say, lilac perfume and with also has a note of guava. So it, it does a little bit tropical as well. And guava has a very particular note. And honestly, I would never have thought to combine lilac with guava, but it totally works. Purple wisteria, tropical succulent guava and white lilacs. Also jasmine, lotus flower, orchid and azalea. And then the base is vetiver, cedar wood and musk. So the wisteria and the lilac are flowers that grow here uh, in my garden, actually. So this really reminds me of springtime, but then the guava gives it a slightly more tropical note, like I said, so it makes it also more summery. This is just a beautiful, fresh and light floral. The only thing is that this one that doesn't have the best longevity. So that's why I'm a little bit disappointed because I actually really do like the scent. I think it's really pretty. I actually think this would be a great, um, 
scent to wear like on your wedding day i think if you had like a spring wedding this would work really nice but it doesn't last that long so that's the only thing that downside to this is that you have to touch up all right i really hope you guys enjoyed my summer fragrance list let me know what fragrances you have been rocking in the summertime you can leave that in the comments below and you can also tell me what you would like to see on my channel i have a few more ideas but i'm always open to your suggestions so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you later Mwah. bye